Hello, it's Kimberly Theodore with Polidora, and I have a sweet little video I'd like to share with you. This is something that I actually saw on YouTube um, by one of the artists that I follow. So I thought I'd try it here with you and I have not tried this on my own without you, so this could be a mess. But I'm going to try it anyway. And I'm glad you could join me. Uh, what I have here is I'm going to drag some strings through this art here and create some interesting patterns. But you'll see as I go what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna use these strings and I pre-painted this background because what I'm gonna to add to the top of this is going to dry transparent. So you'll see the background through it when it's dry. And I simply took some colors and I just swirled them around with my paintbrush, one of my brushes actually a very large one that I use sometimes and um, we'll find out together how well this works don't mind me I'm just headed for the flow trial so I have it here with me this would have been a lot easier if I had pre-filled my squeeze bottle but you might be a little surprised to see what I'm going to do with this. But stay tuned. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some Floetrol directly on the canvas. And now I'm going to spread it around. By the way, this is an excellent spreading tool for your base coat, white paint or black paint or whatever you're doing. I happen to be using it to spread out Floetrol right now. It's called the Oxo Omelet Turning Spatula. And I learned of its existence through one of the artists that I also follow. Uh, Priscilla Batzell with Expressionist Art Studio and Gallery Appreciation. A little piece of fuzz there. And uh, the neat part about this is that because it's somewhat transparent, I could find all my doggy hairs that are in it. That one doesn't want to budge. Okay, I want a nice thick layer of this because I'm going to mess it up anyway so it doesn't really matter if it's smooth or not so there you have it okay I have two colors since the background is quite pastel I have two colors here I hope you can see that one is purple and one is black and both of these colors have silicone in them. So, just thought I'd let you know. So I hope you can see what I'm doing here because I believe this is within the frame. But, put a couple of these, double them over with a handy little tool here silicone and I'm going to press this into the black paint kind of like a string pull well actually it is a string pull but with a twist so let me take two more double them over and stick them in the purple Get them covered nicely with the paint using my little 
Princeton art tool here to do so. Okay, so I got two in each. We'll start with those and see how it goes. Okay, painting time so the jacket comes off so I don't ruin it. Now I just have my my artist clothes on. So let's see. I think I want to start with black. I knew I was going to do that somehow. I knew. Okay, let's see what happens. If I do this. Ah, there you go. Put you back in the paint. All right, so here's our first black. I've already gotten some things on the canvas, as you can see. No worries. So I'm going to just put this down. And I'm simply going to move it up and down the canvas. Let's try this one. Take the drip off of it. Let's start here. And make a nice swath. Moving off. Let's see, add some purple. Okay. Now I'm sure you can see what the the effects that are occurring here from the paint dragged across the Fotrol. It's making some beautiful cells. And I'm going to start over here this time. Just kind of, I think I need some more paint. I don't want to ruin what I've already done, so let's go this way. And off the edge. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's get some more purple. This might get ugly if I use it too many times. Passing it over the black, I mean. But I have more string, so that's not a problem. Let's do something about that squig over there. Drag it again. And off the side. Okay, I'd like to put a little more black in there, I think, for depth and contrast. So, mixing the black with the purple, I knew that was going to happen eventually, but that's okay. Let's come off of here. Dip it a little bit more. Oh, I love these colors. Good choice, Kimberly. Now I'm just trying to compose or work on my composition, which I love to do anyway. Hmm. 
Wow, look at the cells. Isn't it beautiful? I think I'm going to hit it with a little heat and see what happens. Remember, press slowly so you don't break your torch. It works just as well either way. But this is a new torch and I don't want to ruin it like my last one. I'm not really getting too many more cells here because, I mean, we got the cells right away is what we did. But I do want to pop some bubbles so we don't end up with big holes on our canvas when it dries. Okay. I think we've done enough with that. And I do see a dog here. We're gonna remedy that right now. Remedy that right now. Any more hair? Yeah. Thanks, you guys. I have two little mini dachshunds, Teddy and Lucy. I'm gonna take this opportunity to smooth out the edges here a little bit. While we're waiting for that to sell up maybe a little more. I don't know if it will or not. Probably won't. Just do a little edge work here. I had already covered my edges with paint, so it's not like I have to do this. I don't. But I have some runoff over here. Which... I don't mind having any not having on the sides at all. Just makes it more interesting. And that purple and that black is just beautiful together. There you go. Alright. I'm gonna bring it up for you to see. I hope you can see that. Now the fogginess on the canvas from the flow trowel will disappear because the flow trowel is going to dry clear. And there you have it. There are metallics in my colors. So I'm sure you can see some of that. Make sure you're lined up. So, what else do I want to do to it, if anything? Yeah, I know. Leave it alone. But I have to put something in here that reminds me of me. That's too thin. Better do it with the other end. Or better yet, dip it. <laughs> It always works. Just enough. I don't wanna I don't wanna overdo it. I just wanna add a little touch of my own. Not as easy to make curly cues in just flow trials as it is in regular paint sitting on the canvas. So. How's that? I like that. 
I'm gonna make some more. The base down here. Oops, a little more. And I think we're done. I keep saying that, but I don't finish. These are not going to be circles but, or perfect dots by any stretch of the imagination. I'm going to heal up my... It's a little scratched. Okay. We're finished thank you for watching please uh, give me a thumbs up it helps me greatly in the uh, search engines subscribe to my channel and make sure you ring the little bell next to subscribe if you do then the next time I make a video it will notify you that there's another video so I hope you do that and uh, thanks for watching if you need uh, any supplies I've used here today, uh, there you'll find a link uh, in the description that will link you directly to the Amazon shop of uh, Priscilla Batzel. I'm trying to help her out that way. And it won't cost you any more, but it helps her out. So I would appreciate if you did that. And this is Kimberly Theodore from Polidora. And I'm done. Goodbye.